Hello, my friends. Peace, shalom, salam, aloha, namaste. Blessed be, and may the great spirit walk with you. My name is Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church in Chappaqua. And today is Easter. Happy Easter. Easter is positively one of my favorite holidays. People all over the world for as long as we can remember have celebrated the arrival of spring. I'm pretty sure the cavemen even did it. Nothing could be more natural. No matter what your culture, your religion, your age, spring is a magical time. It's the time of year where the sun starts shining longer each day, the weather starts getting warmer, new plants start to grow, animals have their babies, snow no longer slows us down. In fact, rivers and streams are sped up from the melting of the snow and ice. Life is on the move. New work and new adventures can begin. Almost every culture has a major holiday at this time of year, and there are many symbols of Easter that celebrate the new life that comes with spring. Like eggs, the way baby chicks hatch out of eggs and begin their new lives. Did you know that people have been dying and coloring eggs all the way back to the ancient Egyptians? And let's not forget bunnies. Rabbits are important symbols of spring in both ancient and modern cultures. Everyone knows that spring is here when they see baby rabbits start hopping around. I had to swerve my car to not hit one just yesterday. They're everywhere. The Easter Bunny has actually been around a very long time, longer than Santa Claus. He or she was created when Ostara, or Astre in English, the German goddess of the spring, found a wounded bird and saved that bird from dying by transforming it into a rabbit. How that works, I'm not sure. Let's just say that this creature could no longer survive as it was, so it had to change. However, that rabbit was still part bird, and it laid eggs as gifts to the goddess for what she had done, for giving the rabbit new life. Now that special bunny, the Easter bunny, shares those egg gifts with children and families all over the world. Jews celebrate Passover during spring every year. They have a feast called a Seder, full of delicious food, traditional ceremonies, readings, and games. These traditions serve to tell the story of the Exodus, or the Jews' journey to freedom out of Egypt. Long ago, Jews were used as slaves in Egypt until Moses led them to freedom a new land, and a new life. For Christians today, we honor our own story of rebirth at Easter, the story of Jesus' resurrection, which happened to occur during Passover and springtime. When Jesus died, it was a very sad time for the people who loved him and followed him. And on Good Friday, just this past Friday, we honored his death, the sacrifice he made to keep peace, the faith in God that he showed until the very end, the love he showed to his friends, his family, strangers, captors, and enemies, the path to heaven and God's side where that he paved and showed to all of us. But many believe that two days later, Jesus came back. He lived again. His spirit was renewed and walked the earth. And for us Christians today, Jesus' spirit indeed lives on and life is eternal for everyone. So Easter is all about new life, life continuing and life everlasting on and on to heaven and beyond. This is everything we celebrate today. So I hope you have a happy, beautiful and blessed Easter and that you may feel renewed, grateful for the life that is here and ready for wonderful things to come. All right, my children. I love you very much, and I'll see you next week. Happy Easter. Bye-bye.